What's going on, miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. So today in this video, I want to show you guys how to update your Flux node through Flux OS dashboard. Now, this is something I noticed. My Flux node went offline, and it was unfortunate because I got kicked to the back of the bus. And now you have to wait for all of those confirmations again until you can get a payout. So we need to make sure these things are up to date, and this should be part of your morning routine. So if this is something you guys are into, let's do it. So as you guys can see, here we are inside the Flux uh, Zelcor wallet for the Flux nodes. Now, I have a few things blurred out here for security purposes. Obviously, I just want to point out the status. You can see here it says confirmed. Now, if yours doesn't say confirmed, first thing you should probably do is to unplug and reset the rig and then start the node again. If it doesn't start up, you probably need to update your node. So this is something we're going to go over right now. If you scroll down here, looking at the Flux OS button, if you click on this, it may or may not open up for you over on the browser. Mine, personally, I click on this, it does not open up. And huge shout out to Tains for showing me how to get into the Flux OS dashboard. So you guys can actually download a thing called Advanced IP Scanner. I have shown it in a few videos prior to this, like setting up all the mini box miners and stuff. But that will scan your network and it will pop up and show you the Flux node local ip address now you can take that and you put that in your browser and let me show you what i'm talking about right now all right so as you can see right here we're at the flux os dashboard and what i needed to do to get here was find that local ip address you could see i typed it in up top and then i put a colon 16126 or it could be 16136 if i'm not mistaken um you might try a 127 but this worked for me, so hopefully it works for you guys. Just the 16126 after your local IP address should get you right in. Now to get into this unit, I wanna show you guys, scroll down to the bottom and you're gonna click right here, log in with your Zell ID. As soon as you click that, it should say open Zell core or cancel. Now I'm gonna click open Zell core. All right, so as you can see right here, when you click open Zell core, it will pop up with the Zell ID thing. I have some things blurred out here, again, for security purposes, but you're gonna put in your Zell pin and then click sign and send and will open up the dashboard so you can actually adjust the node. All right, so now if you see we're into the Flux node dashboard, it is all unlocked and ready to go. You can see it says Flux is working correctly. Now, obviously things are blurred out to, you know, hide certain things on this dashboard from you guys, but you guys kind of get the gist. You can see most of it. Now we're gonna hit the three lines at the top left. You're gonna come down and go to Flux admin then you're going to scroll down a little bit and go to manage flux right here it'll say update flux so that's how you update your flux node to the latest version and to find the latest version usually you guys can find that in the flux discord i can't show you that because for some reason i can't get into the flux discord i've tried numerous times and it doesn't allow me in and nobody can figure out why but is what it is so either way that's how you update it and to scroll down to confirm what uh version you're on it says flux os version 3.21.0 i think they're on version 3.22 if i'm not mistaken so what we're going to do is update this live with you guys right now i'm going to click update flux it says are you sure we're going to say yes update flux and now it's going to do this uh flux update in progress and this isn't going to hurt your spot in line at all. It's just gonna update your uh, you know, node and you should be good to go. So let's have this do its thing. It should only take a minute or two and that's it. All right, so now it says update complete. Flux will now reload. So it reloads the dashboard for you and it says it's working properly. And now you can see at the bottom, it says Flux OS version 3.22.0. So I was correct, they are on the 2.2. And if you're behind on the dates, I think in their discord, they will tell you you need to update by this point or your node will probably shut off. So unfortunately, that's where I landed at one point. And now I am checking these things constantly and asking other people because I can't get in the discord of what version they're on. So it doesn't hurt to just go and make sure you're up to date once in a while. If you want to come to this dashboard, you could just hit update and whatever. Even if it's the same version, it's not going to hurt your node. It's only going to help you out. So guys, this is just a quick public service announcement. Obviously, I want you guys to make sure your nodes stay online. So if this helped any of you guys out, please don't forget to hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys haven't seen this video or this video, please go check them out and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.